Here I am again working on the 2006 Ford Mustang and as with many used cars these days they only give you one key and fortunately I have one key with a remote but I read and if many of you have found out that in order to program extra keys the easy way you need to have two working keys and since I only had one um, needed to use a software product um, called Forescan and then you also need to get an interface that works with it and attaches to your car and theoretically with Forescan you're able to program extra keys with only one single key. Alright, we're going to try and use Forescan to create a second key and then that's the hard way to use the Forescan software and an interface. And then after I've created a second key, I'm going to try and program the third key the easy way. And that's the way to do it if you have two working keys already. So first we need to plug in the interface. has to be on HSCAN mode, which the switch on the interface is, and then uh, we turn the key to run, and then on the software, then we click connect, and read the messages. Looks like we're connected and it's reading information. We'll wait till it gets done here. I'm going to put no here because I don't want it to read that. And I do not want to save this. Okay. Now, in order to do the key programming, I bought these transponder keys off of eBay, and I had some nice person at Lowe's cut these keys for me. So now, um, this is going to be the exciting part, I guess. I'm going to try and program the one key, and then I should have two working keys, and then for the third key, I'm going to do it the easy way, not with Forescan, not with the interface. I'm going to do it the way that Ford tells you to do it if you had two working keys. So let's try and get this one key program first. So we need to go to the wrench and then the PCM PATS programming. And then we need to hit the run. And read all of that and then let's hit OK so it says right now that there are four keys stored so after I do this there should be five so you choose ignition key programming okay and then this is where you go into a wait mode and then after the wait mode, it'll come up with a message that tells you you can turn off this key and then put in your uh, eBay not programmed key and hopefully it will finish the job. So here we go. We should be starting the timer. And this should take up to 12 minutes. So we're going to wait. And I'll fast forward through this 12 minutes
Okay, that's ready to do the programming. So what we need to do is as soon as you turn this back to zero, it starts a timer and you need to put in your non-program key in within 10 seconds and switch it to on. So as soon as we press OK, that's what's going to happen. So let's see. OK, take this one out, put this one in. And it looks like it says success. Please try to turn it off. And then hit OK. Turn the ignition on. Don't start the engine. Okay, not sure what happened there, but it worked that time. So you can see that the key count is up to five and this is the original key and this is the program key. So let's try to start the car here with this new key. Okay, service procedure completed successfully. So now we are going to try to start the car with the key that I programmed. Let's see. Please work. Success. So now I've got two working keys, this one and this one. Now I'm going to show you the easy way. This is the way that you should do it if you already have two working keys and you don't need to do four scan. All you have to do is turn the uh, put in one key and then turn it to run until the lock turns off. And then you take that one out, put this one in, turn it to run until the lock turns off and then you should be in programming mode and then turn this one in and theoretically now this one should be programmed and it's as easy as that if you have two keys and that one works too simple so don't ever lose your keys Right, that's one. That's two. These are the two eBay keys. And then here's my original. So now I've got three keys. And let's just see if that last key actually is counted in here. Connecting to the vehicle. Oh, I guess I should put a key in here. Reading vehicle info. I'm going to say no again. I'm going to say no again. 
Okay, now I want to go to Pat's programming and I want to run it because I want to see how many keys are stored and it should say six. And here you go, six. So that last key that I did the easy way got counted. So I just wanted to show you that both ways on how to uh, get an extra key. If you have a single key, you need four scan in a, an interface or something similar. And then if you have two actual keys, that's super simple to just put both in the ignition and then put the third unprogrammed one in there and it'll program it just like that. Thanks for watching.